come into his house and gathered in his name to worship him we have come into his house and gathered in his name to worship him we have come into his house and gathered in his name to worship him worship him jesus christ the lord Let's forget about ourselves and concentrate on him to worship him Let's forget about ourselves and concentrate on him and worship him Let's forget about ourselves and concentrate on him and worship him Worship him Jesus Christ the Lord In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we offer this mass for the donors of divyavani particularly today we remember and offer this mass for the departed soul of mr stanley augustin offered by letty leo augustin savio augustin also for the soul for the departed soul of mr stanley augustin offered by mrs mauriza williams jude williams harry williams and sister in law Also thanksgiving mass for enthronement of sacred heart of Jesus offered by J Emmanuel So let us remember these intentions and pray for them in this mass In particularly today we are again offering this special votive mass as a thanksgiving eucharist for the last 4 years of God's blessings to the people through Divyavani television channel Also we are praying today to end the corona because we have been too long in this pandemic and we want to pray to god in earnest to end this corona and that god may be kind to find us back to normal life and give medicine in time and keep us alive keep safe from this corona and in a special way today we also i mean this is the feast of the uh, st john marie vianney will pray for a lot of priests all the priests that god may bless them in holiness as he used st john marie vianney he only said one thing i would like to die or i would like to suffer 100 years what matters to me is my people change and god change them with the sufferings so today you should we should pray for all the priests instead of criticizing them let us pray because they have come with a good intention and let us pray for all of them especially i want you to remember a lot of priests who have been instrumental in helping the bhavani but some of them are affected by corona and also i would like you to pray for all the priests not to be affected by this disease and today the theme of today's mass is social media for human welfare my dear friends let us also pray today that we are addicted by the social media so much that it is making us lonely it is making us more dissatisfied in life and we are also losing track of the real world with the virtual world and real relationships 
maybe we are wasting away a lot of time. So many things are happening today because of the social media, good and bad and ugly. So let us pray, especially that we may have the wisdom to use this tool, which is a great tool, and that many young people may have the same wisdom. And feel sorry for those moments we have failed to use innovations for the good of humanity, for the welfare of humanity. And let us feel sorry for those moments we are led into sin through this social media, calling upon God. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts in my words, and in my words, in and in what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, Mary our Virgin, all the angels, angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who always listen mercifully to your servants in distress, we humbly beseech you as we give thanks for your kindness, that free from all evil we may constantly serve you in gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the St. Paul letter to the Ephesians. Chapter 4, verses from 17 to 32. Now these I affirm and insist on in the Lord. You must no longer live as the Gentiles live, in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from their life of God because of their ignorance and hardness of heart. They have lots of sensitivity and have abandoned themselves to licentiousness, greedy, to impatient, every kind of impurity. That is not the way you learned Christ. For surely you have heard about him and were taught in him, as truth is in Jesus. You were taught to put away your former way of life, your old self corrupt and deluded by its lusts, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to be clothed yourself with a new self, created according to the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. So then, putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must go up stealing, Give up stealing rather than labor and work honestly with their own hands, so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up, as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were marked with the self for the for the day of redemption put away from the bitterness and wrath and anger wrangling and slander together with all malice and be kind to one another tender hearted forgiving one another as god in christ has forgiven you the word of the lord thanks be to god
sing hallelujah to the lord sing hallelujah to the lord sing hallelujah sing hallelujah sing hallelujah to the lord is risen from the dead Jesus is risen from the dead Sing alleluia sing alleluia sing alleluia to the Lord Sing alleluia sing alleluia sing alleluia to the Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit our reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory, glory to, to you, you o lord chapter 5 verses 13 to 17 you are the salt of the earth but if salt loses its taste with what can it be seasoned it is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled under foot you are the light of the world a city set on a mountain cannot be hidden nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket it is set on a lamp stand where it gives light to all in the house just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly father do not think that i have come to abolish the law or the prophets i have come not to abolish but to fulfill this is the gospel of the lord praise, praise to, to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ. christ my dear brothers and sisters today we have two things that jesus is talking about that your light must shine before the world and glorify god and the second i did not come to abolish but to fulfill i think this should be the background for our reflection on social media for human welfare do you know the biggest countries in the world today you have any idea it is started in 2004 just about 15 years and today with over 2.5 billion people it is the facebook the biggest country followed by 2 billion and over youtube and whatsapp with 2 billion people and just the other day it was launched what is called the tiktok with 800 million about a billion people and you can talk about twitter and other social media platforms about 400 million people around which is a lot of countries are much smaller than these and do you know that the age between 16 to 24 people spend time where do they spend their most of the time is 
not in the college perhaps, about or more than eight hours on social media. Do you know that the whole world today, both men and women, spend their time on, not in sports, not in entertainment, but what do you call socializing on these social media platforms. In other words, we can say, in short, that the social media has taken the world by surprise. And not only by surprise, it has the control of the largest population. My dear friends, there is good, there is bad, and there is also ugly that has come with it. We are talking about today online behavior. Usually we used to talk about when we want to give in marriage to somebody, the boy's behavior, character. And if we want to employ somebody, we used to talk about the character of the man or the woman. But now it's called online behavior. If you want to employ somebody, they're going online behavior. And also the police, to chase the case, they are going for online behavior. So there is online behavior and offline behavior. And in addition to that, there is online crime. Imagine, there is cyberbullying today. And what they call, there is a phobia, FOMO, fear of missing out. FOMO, fear of missing out. This is a social anxiety. The anxiety that we may miss out something because you don't access or you don't have access to it. And we, call, we talk about today online stalking, online creeping and online trolling. So you may ask, is there not any good things done because of social media? Yes. Today we have first time after Facebook is launched, we found old friends come to life again, the relationships. And you, the social media brings the whole world to your doorstep and communicates information, shares information instantly at the same time to so many people, which was never the case. And today we can tell if anybody wants an individual, does not need to spend any money. He has access, the power to express himself or herself. And my dear friends, today if anything is happening in dark, it is the social media that has brought that to the light. And I can say about Divyavani also, good things happen. Today, equal number if not more numbers are watching on social media not just on TV. A Holy Mass is watched all over the world through website, YouTube, and mobile apps. Praise the Lord, my dear friends. And another good thing happened recently when this corona came. I believe it's God's grace that we introduced QR code, online payment, because of which in two and a half months, people donated about around two and a half crores through online. Would this be possible physically? I don't think so. Especially at this time of Corona. Can you come and give this money? Can you send it through post? Because postal ban was there. So, too many good things, and I want to tell everybody today, those of you who have sent money, praise the Lord, but don't use any phone number to pay, because we are not given any phone number to pay, because we are a society. You can use the QR code, we have phone pay, Google pay, Paytm, but no phone 
number to be used as payment. So I think you will share that information with everybody else. And my dear friends, I want to share with you the seven traps. I mean, I just try to see seven traps that you can fall into because of social media. Number one, the trap of addiction or coveting. What is this trap? I want to ask you, have you ever seen people addicted to social media? And I have a lot of stories, especially in this corona time, families who are sharing Netflix, they are fighting because they are addicted. The children are addicted to their own genre and the parents are addicted and they are fighting. And people constantly posting and we are fed up with that postings. And some people take photos constantly and post them. And we are tired of it because of their addiction. And you have likes, share, post. And you are expecting appreciation from others. And your worth is considered because of their appreciation. So you depend upon their appreciation. Your worth depends on it. No physical exercise because of that. No sleep with sleep disturbances. And then obsessive checking. Tell me sincerely, when you get up, and when we all get up, what do we see on the phone? We see the WhatsApp right like it. Is there any messages, new things? Early morning, early morning. Is that necessary? But many of us are addicted. And then you come into the office, what do you see? You go to the YouTube before night, whatever that is. So many people go to YouTube to update themselves. Obsessive checking. And if you have an account online, it keeps coming continuously. The messages will be coming and you have to check. And today we have the feast of... Uh, St. John Maria Vianney, and we are tired. So many messages. I mean, so obsessive, checking, addiction, and coveting, because we are greedy or we are depending upon others in uh, affirmation. And the second trap is Psalm, I mean, the Proverbs 29, 11 says, it is the foolish that express our vent anger. It is venting trap. But the wise man does not do it. Today we have instantaneously anger expressed through text messages. They don't think a bit whether they're going to hurt people. And they post. And you cannot take back. Of course, you can delete it, but still, once you have written, it is written. It is Im imprint is there. And is it not true how many times we feel that we want to do something, express something, and we have stopped doing it because it is not worth responding sometimes. And it, is, it will cause further headache. But today, because of this venting trap that this social media gives you, you are in emotionally trapped. And when you are emotionally charged, your decisions are going to be wrong. And the third trap would be comparison. You compare yourself with others. I wish my husband was like the other person. I wish my husband gave gifts like him. I wish my children were like the children, the accomplished children, maybe secured the ranks that they, they secured. And now my children are not doing anything good like that. Achievers. My dear friends, usually on posts like Facebook or whatever posts they do is highlights of their life, not the low lights. So, do not be tempted to compare yourself and end up in low self-esteem. What do you know about their life? So, it's all nice things are told. So, that is the trap, comparison. Then the fourth trap is time. You waste a lot of time and you become lazy 
eventually. Ephesians 5.16 talks about that you need to grab every opportunity because these are bad days. And Psalm 90.12 talks about your life. Think of the shortness of your life so that you can become wise. In Corona, we have seen people. How many people are dying? Chief ministers also getting Corona. Ministers dying. So, doctors dying. My dear friends, think of the shortness. So, you can't waste. And today, we have a virus that is not known. Unknown virus. Unknown situation. Unknown death. And that is the fear. No, we should not waste our time. and Become lazy. And you have the trap to get waste your time all the time on media. And how many hours people are wasting, you don't know. I can give you a lot of statistics for that. And then the trap, the fifth trap is the secrecy. Today they say that online, because of online relationships, 20% of divorces are happening. 20%. Can you believe? We had hardly 2% divorces in India. Now it has come to 20% on online. And my dear friends, 41% are caught. So be careful. Because it is secrecy you think it is not fully. It, it starts like this. Friend request comes. Then what do you do? You say, how are you? You don't know who that friend is. You say, how are you? Then you say, I like your pictures. That means you're already starting to deviate. You're starting to flirt. Flirting, that's what is called flirting. And then you ask, what are you wearing? That is starting to dirty talk. And you end up, after what are you wearing? I am falling for you. You end up in an emotional affair, which will lead eventually to a physical affair. Let's meet up. You see how this trap and a lot of young people fall a prey. And a lot of married people fall a prey. And today we have also what is called on social media the snapshots. They are limited time, they appear. You think that you are safe. But because of snapshots, Inappropriate content is transferred to from one person to the other. My dear friends, so there is a lot of danger out there, trap of secrecy. And the sixth trap is the distraction trap. Let's say every conversation should bring good and build relationships. But what do you do? You're talking to me, and what do you do? You take the phone, and what do you do? You start texting. You're listening to me, but you start texting. Then what do you do? You start checking. Checking different accounts, checking different things. And then you start following your favorite person. And what you're saying finally is, my social media is more important to me than you. You are not worth it. So there is no relationship happening in the conversation that we started. And what is sin? Sin is after all in Greek called hamartia. is a distraction, missing the target. Sin is missing the target. Exactly, distraction is sin. Sin distracts you. Sin doesn't help you to focus. You are desperate to know what is going on in everybody's life. Is it necessary? So, trap of distraction. Social media, people who spend most of their time on social media are the distracted lot. They can't focus. Man is called to focus. Man is called to enjoy. Man is called to treasure. Man is called to be composed for unity. And that is 
not going to happen. The trap is for distraction. And the seventh trap I want to talk to you about is what we have heard today in the sec sec first reading, Ephesians 4, chapter 17 to 32. See, let your words and everything be helpful, not harmful. Your presence reflects God. So in other words, you're co-signing, you're a co-signatory to what you do on social media. You are reflecting your family, you're reflecting yourself, your character, and what you believe. And that is the reason I took today's reading from chapter 5 of Matthew. You're supposed to be the light on the lampstand. You're supposed to be the city built on the hilltop. But what are you finally on social media? Are you being that? Or are you being something else? Anti or against your existence and be. And I want to tell you, because of technology, the human relationships are changing. You may ask how? These consequences are there. Hebrew chapter 10 verses 24 to 25 says, There are ways to do good, and one is such is, is meeting together. And that's why the word of God says, where two or three gathered in my name, I shall be there, my presence. Meeting together, encouraging one another by meeting. So that should not be put off. That's what St. Paul is talking about in Hebrews. And today, my dear friends, what is happening? Friend, the concept of friend is evolving Earlier we talked a friend, this, this is friend, this is friend, this. Today it is evolving. Somebody, you don't know who even he or she. And then you just follow. You just follow. And never met. You have never met, but you follow. And today, Americans, by doing this, have about average 338 friends. Every average American. And what is told about is, on Facebook alone, 25% of them do not have real friends. They have surveyed and they came out saying that 25% of them do not have any close friends. What is the use of having tons of friends and no friends? And some of them have hardly one or two close friends. So, are you really making friendship? Is it worth? It is enough. One phone call. Rather than so many texts, of course, if everybody starts calling the priest, then it will be in trouble. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, it makes a big difference. A phone conversation, because audio is, then both audio and video, that is your presence, makes a lot of difference. And instant or immediate results, that is another consequence Addicted to immediate affirmation. For example, a fellow is alone or lonely. What he does? He takes a photo and posts on the... And start, people start... After some time he goes back and sees it, then people start, oh, I like this photo. Oh, you look good. And then, oh, you thin down. You, this is the topic. And what happens? He, he finds satisfaction. He finds gratification. But... What is his problem is loneliness. So he tried to avoid it for some time. What happened is he deferred that loneliness to another time. He did not solve it. He deferred it. And third thing, my dear friends, the bad consequences, friendship on our terms. That's what we do on social media. If I want, I read. If I don't want, I don't read. If I want to respond, I respond. When I want to respond, I respond. Is that a friendship? So what happens finally? Experts say social media has brought more loneliness to people of this type. 
there is more craving than satisfaction or satisfied satisfaction and god is incarnate he became man otherwise you would have uh, online communication would have been enough so that he is there for us and political leaders somebody is suggesting rahul gandhi should take a yatra jagan mohan reddy has gone for yatra and chandra babu has gone for yatra rashik why because that assurance is only in physical presence so that's what jesus came down incarnation be present that is the antidote for social media face to face not thumb to thumb you know what is thumb to thumb face to face don't face thumb to thumb romans chapter 12 9 to 10 verse 13 speaks about do not pretend to love there's a lot of pretension there and increase that bond and fraternity and help in need and be hospitable all this can only be possible be being present so be present is antidote second thing is be engaged first peter 4:8 says show deep love and love can cover all sins like st augustine charity covers all sins first john 3:18 speaks about words are not enough conversations are not enough you can say that i have done everything right no but your actions are important so tim chester an expert speaks of two dangers because of social media one danger is i create my world through my words through my posts and try to get approval of others affirmation of others so this is what is happening what you need is god's approval you are craving for people's approval and it is not approval because it depends they give when they want and it is not true that's why you're not satisfied you're craving so you're creating your own world that is against god it is an idol ego centered and the second thing second danger is i am trying to escape my bodily limitations my body has limitations online relationship my body has limitations to have two friends three friends but now here i can have a number of friends right i can be in number of places i can be in a number of things it is not real world actually speaking it is a beautiful world yes so my dear friends what francis is talking about you have so much going on information too much information and all that is not good all the stories that you see are not good and there are weaving of the stories there is weaving of the stories and genesis chapter 3 verses 5 we and satan has tempted the first man and woman telling them you will be like god if you possess if you achieve and this is what exactly is the race for on social media so by the friends they provoke and today that's why we have false information there is no proper some people think internet is bible it's not it's all bits and pieces information not verified information and that's why we have fact checking coming in now fact checking is coming in so much so my dear friends mother mary treasured in her heart luke chapter 219 why man is meant for treasuring savoring making it own which is not happening on social media with too much so this is the biggest temptation and we are sure that god's presence is important on social media if not somebody else will take over and that's why divya one is making it sure that every platform is used 
And you need to be with people when they are in joy, when they are in sorrows. That is good. But follow Jesus on Twitter, I would say. And be like Jesus on Facebook. So my dear friends, keep your boundaries so that will save you. And be, ta- be thoughtful, be alert. Keep your boundaries, as I said. Because this is information society. That is not enough, that will not suffice. And self-monitoring is very important. So today, let us reflect upon these these things and ask God. God God-centered relationships. Loving Father, we ask you to bless our Pope Francis, our priests, bishops, and all the clergy and the religious, especially all the parish priests, as we remember also St. John Marie Vianney. Bless all our priests, especially blessed priests at the Vivani. Lord, in a special way, help them to help people understand the good, the bad, and the ugly of social media. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask you, how we are trapped on social media. Give us the wisdom not to be trapped. Not to be after the wrong values. Like the Satan tempted Adam and Eve. May we be spared of the temptation by wisdom that you will give to us, to our children. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for all the donors who are making it possible today. That Divyavani, that is your message. Your presence is reached not only through television, but also through all the social media platforms so that good can happen. Lord, We ask you to bless those social media platforms like YouTube, that there may be more people, more subscribers, and more services may be rendered. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. I would like you to pray for all the intentions that you have in your mind. We ask all these intentions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Spread the love of Christ the Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept accept the the sacrifice sacrifice at your hands hands for for the the praise and the glory of his name, for for good and good of all his holy Holy church. Church. O Lord, who gave us your Son to rescue us graciously from death, And from every evil accept, we pray in mercy, this sacrifice, which we offer in thanksgiving for our deliverance from distress. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may make, become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop, the Mabala, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we say this prayer, let us remember that God loves us. We don't need tons of people to love us. God loves us. Don't look for affirmation and appreciation, instant, immediate gratification, because God will fulfill us. So let us, because He takes care of our needs on a daily basis. And He is the only one who can satisfy us. So let's call upon Him, asking Him, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Let's do it. Lamb, Lamb of, of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Be healed. Those of you is ready to receive Jesus spiritually, the Eucharistic Lord, please join me. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, receive you sacramentally. Come into my heart spiritually. Come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself to you wholly. And unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Sing my soul at the joy that I feel There is now dwelling in me my God Sing my soul at the joy that I feel There is now dwelling in me my God Lord, it is your wish that I may by my life show people around how to love more and more. Lord, it is your wish that I may by my life show people around how to love more and more. Sing my soul at the joy that I feel. There is now dwelling in me my God. Sing my soul at the joy that I feel There is now dwelling in me my God Let us pray Almighty God, who through this bread of life are pleased to free your servants 
from the bond of sin and in your compassion to restore their strength. Grant us to advance without hindrance towards the hope of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's say this prayer because we are all praying that Corona may end and St. Trock was one who fought with the viruses of his time and the plague of his time. So let us pray to St. Rock, patron of the sick. O blessed Saint Rock, O blessed Saint Rock, God promised you, God promised you through an angel, through an angel that whoever invokes your name, that whoever invokes your name would be preserved, would be preserved from pestilence and contagious diseases, from pestilence and contagious diseases. Patron of the sick, patron of the sick, have pity on those, have pity on those who lie upon a bed of suffering, who lie upon the bed of suffering. Your power was so great. Your power was so great when you were in this world. When you were in this world, that by the sign of the cross, that by the sign of the cross, many were healed of their diseases. Many were healed of their diseases. Now that you are in heaven, now that you are in heaven, your power is no less. Your power is no less. Offer to God our sighs and tears. Offer to God our sighs and tears. And obtain for us, and obtain for us the physical and spiritual health we seek. The physical and the spiritual health we seek. Amen. 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 My friends, we are in the 40 days of prayer to the Lord and for the salvation and safety of the Lord and to end Corona. So I would like to exhort you all to continue to pray with sighs and tears so that God may have kindness because it's not God who brought this havoc. It's the, it's the um, Satan, which is the ruler of the world. So God can bring good out of this, that God may bring a lot of good from this, and the vaccine very soon, and also the medicine, and everybody to the least person can be taken care of. While we pray, my dear friends, we also thank God for the four years of Divyavani. And those of you who would like to celebrate or offer Mass, you're welcome to offer Mass because that's the way you can support the Vyavani TV channel. And also pray for your own intentions because there's no churches right now. So I encourage many of you to offer Masses on, at the noon time, and that's how you can support the broadcast. And we're also having a Mass in Telugu in the evening at 6 p.m., followed by the holy hour, one hour holy hour, 6 to 7 is the mass, 7 to 8. With the same theme, social media for the welfare of humanity. So my dear friends, if you would like to sponsor the broadcast, you can do it. It's 10,000. It's a, the broadcast sponsorship of the holy hour. But if you would like to offer holy hour for a specific intention of yours, you can also pay a donation of 1,000 rupees and do that and you can call the numbers and at this time I would like also to tell you how two fish and five loaves last Sunday we have heard the gospel how they have been instrumental in doing this miracle of reaching out to millions of people through the Vivani TV so would you be interested if you are interested please call us and get a direct debit form mailed to you and we'll follow the procedure. And you can donate every month, 200 or 500, whatever God inspires you. And thank you all those people who are donating otherwise as well. God bless you. And my dear friends, we also ask you, if you're interested in the um, Corpus Fund, because almost uh, very less are there more because most of the people have taken over and a few more sites uh, slots are there so if you're interested please come forward it's one lakh rupees for one lifetime and uh, we will pray and Divyavani will remember you even after your death even if your children don't remember or forget to remember and those who are interested please contact us many are asking and you're welcome to contact And I would like to also request you, as we preached on social media, to subscribe to our 
YouTube platform, Divyavani Television, Divyavani TV. So please subscribe and pass the information that we are there all over and let everyone be heard by Jesus Christ that they may, he may be touching them. The Lord be with you and, and with you. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. God is good to me. Oh, what love I see. Jesus as a lamb was slain. He delivered me, cleansed and set me free. Lord of all, He rose again. Now I live, yet not I. Jesus is alive in me. Sending the Spirit's flame into my heart again. God has poured His love on me.